Romans chapter 8 verses 31 and 32. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him, also freely give us all things? Start receiving the good news of Jesus. When you are faced with difficult circumstances, keep on believing in his love, that was demonstrated on the cross for you, and he will cause whatever the devil meant for evil, to be turned around for good and for his glory. We may not have all the answers, but we can have full assurance, that the negative circumstances we sometimes experience, are not the works of God, neither are they his punishments for our sins. When we have this confidence, that God is for us and not against us, we can believe for restoration, breakthroughs, and good things to happen to us. When he restores, his restoration is always greater in quantity and quality. Brethren, to reign in life it's important you believe with all your heart, that God is for you and not against you. His truth, his righteousness, his gospel, his salvation, his word, and his spirit declare that your sins have been punished on the cross. God is on your side. And if God is for you, who can be against you? Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment. Feel free to share with someone who needs God's grace right now. Kindly subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified. And watch other inspirational videos like this.